All right, welcome back to the channel here. Got another cart in. Uh, this one's kind of unique. This is a uh, 2023 Evolution cart. Uh, it's one of my first Evolutions that I've worked on. Uh, you know, usually I'm an easy go uh, Yamaha and club car guy. It's kind of my bread and butter. Um, but this one's kind of unique. Uh, not a bad little cart. These are the Chinese made carts, AC motors, come with a factory lithium on this model. Uh, other models do have AGM. But um, essentially, the customer brought this in. Battery was not taking a charge, and he couldn't get anything to really read off of the battery terminals as well. Uh, he did take apart the front end, thinking that possibly a mouse got into the wiring. But uh, thankfully, that wasn't the case. Um, well, thankfully, but not thankfully. Uh, coming over to the battery that was in there, this is a... They come stock with a 110 amp hour, 51.2 uh, volt battery, weighing in roughly around 97 pounds. Nice steel case. Uh, we tested this all in the cart beforehand. So across the terminals, you know, we were getting one to two volts, next to nothing. Um, when you jumped from this positive terminal to the inside main negative to the pack, uh, it was getting 53 volts. So the cells themselves are fine. Um, the solenoid, if you jumped it, the cart got bad or power and moved. Um, testing the little uh, posts, it would trigger the solenoid and complete the circuit for the ground, and everything worked there, but it wasn't getting any message to trigger the solenoid. So, effectively, the BMS is faulty on this. Um, this being a 2023, it did have warranty, but the customer declined. The warranty through the dealership and wanted to do a little bit bigger battery so we accommodated and uh basically ran a cloud energy battery which if you guys follow my channel pretty familiar with this thing is a tank this is a 150 amp hour um 52 volt battery and essentially well 51.2 um this has about a 300 amp max continuous discharge and i think it's about the same 200 to maybe 300 amp on charge. Uh, this here also has a physical on off button, four battery posts. And then I just mounted the onboard charger, uh, onboard, of course there. Uh, the stock charger that came was onboard as well, but it was a little low on the amperage output. So um, again, massive battery. Uh, I wanna say it's about 15 inches wide and then between here was about 14. So had to kind of finagle it in sideways to get it to fit. Um, and basically it's about 140 pounds. So a little bit heavier, but kind of a nice trade off for the added range. Uh, in order to get it to mount, I did have to put some stainless steel angle iron in there, um, or L channel, I should say, back and forth. Uh, to the sides, it's gonna hit the frame if it were to ever move. But the straps on here, I'm not a big fan of using these straps, but you know, there's just no real way to get a mount on here. Um, and with these straps, it's not gonna go anywhere. But uh, really straightforward, you know, I kind of wanted to make this video because nobody in my research uh, has posted a video or really any in-depth instructions on how to convert these carts to an aftermarket lithium. Um, these classic, the Evolution Classic, you can do it, and you can do a regular lithium battery. It doesn't need to have a CAN bus. The newer ones have CAN bus um, systems on them, so it needs to communicate to the battery itself, and that's a different story. That wouldn't work on like an Evolution D5, D6, or Forester. But on this cart, wasn't any issues. Um, I took apart the, or took off the uh, proprietary charging port that they had. Put a nice little mic tuning um, 120 on here, so all you need is a regular extension cord. Um, coming back here, there is one wire. I don't know if we can see it in here. So that red wire there, that one there essentially was a lockout switch. So that got power. That went directly to the charging port and then looped back and went to that solenoid. Uh, junction block and always had power and essentially when you plugged in the cart it would cut power so I'll show you what I'm talking about here this is the old 
charging port. And on the back side, essentially when you plugged it in, here's the two wires I was talking about, it would cut power. So um, that wire has power all the time otherwise. So basically we just jumpered that to the solenoid block and uh, now it's gonna have power at all times like it should. And the cart works just fine. The only thing is, is it doesn't really have an interlock. So when charging, somebody could essentially take off with the cart, but that's pretty common with any lithium conversions. You just wanna make sure you shut off the battery before charging. Um, outside of that, you know, everybody's seen these JBD BMS uh, displays on a couple of my other videos. This is a first gen, you know, you can control the discharge and charge here. Um, it just got done charging, so it's gonna show an over voltage, but the, the second gens actually have a turn off switch here, which I'll show you over here. This is a second gen in an RXV. They actually have a physical discharge switch to turn it off. Not necessarily uh, super needed, but it's kind of a nice benefit to remotely turn off that battery. This one's got a 250 amp, um, 51.2 volt in here. So 105 amp hour. But uh, again, that's pretty much it on this cart. I just kind of wanted to post this again because through all my research, Facebook forums, you know, forums in general, talking to people, nobody really had an answer about putting in an aftermarket lithium on these. Um, but uh, found a guy I talked to, works at a dealership, and he said he's done some Roy Pal switches on these, and there's no CAN bus, so it's just a, a direct replacement, which is really nice. Um, he didn't know about the interlock switch needing to be bypassed, but we got it figured out, and she's ready to rock. I think the customer will definitely be pleased with the added range, uh, you know, 150 hour amp hour versus uh, 110, and uh, I think you'll like it. Outside of that, thanks again for watching. Have a good one.